In this lesson, we will discuss about graphing linear equation using intercept method. When we use intercept method, we are looking for the x and y intercept of the given equation. The x intercept is the point where a line crosses the x axis, and the y intercept is the point where a line crosses the y axis. For example, we have these two points on the graph. The x intercept is located on the horizontal axis or the x axis. In our example, this one, it has the coordinates of negative 2 and 0. While for the y intercept, it is located on the vertical axis or the y axis. In our example, we have this one. It has the coordinates of 0 and positive 3. Now, observe the coordinates of x and y intercept. For x intercept, it has negative 2 and 0. Please take note that when you're getting the x intercept, the value of y must always be 0. Similarly, when you get the y-intercept, the value of x must always be 0. Now, let's proceed to the steps in graphing using intercept method. The first step is, find the x and y-intercept of the given equation. Then the second, locate the x and y-intercept on the graph and draw a straight line through the points. Let's have an example. Number 1, 2x minus 4y equals 8. The first step is, find the x and y intercepts. Let's start with x intercept, wherein the value of y must be equal to 0. We will be using the given equation 2x minus 4y equals 8. Since the value of y is equal to 0, we will be substituting it from the variable y in our equation. It will be like this. 2x minus 4 times 0, we just change the value of y to 0, equals 8. And then solve. Since 4 times 0 will give us 0, we may just cancel it out. And we'll have here 2x equals 8. And since we are solving for the value of x, we have to cancel 2. To cancel 2, we will be dividing both sides by 2. So it will be cancelled. And 8 divided by 2 will give us positive 4. So our coordinates will be positive 4 and 0. 4 for the value of x, 0 for the value of y. Let's proceed to y-intercept, wherein x is equal to 0. Let's use the same equation. Substitute the value of x, which is 0. It will be 2 times 0. We just change the variable x to 0. Then copy negative 4y equals 8. Since 2 times 0 will give us 0, we may just cancel it out. And then, we'll have now negative 4y equals 8. Since we are solving 4y, then therefore we have to cancel negative 4. To cancel it, we will be dividing both sides by negative 4. Cancel. And now, 8 divided by negative 4, you will have negative 2. So your coordinates will be 0 and negative 2. 0 from the value of x and negative 2 from the value of y. Now, let's graph. For the x-intercept, you will just be looking at the x-axis. Since our coordinates are 4, 0, it means we will be locating positive 4 on the x-axis. So, we have this one. And for the y-intercept, we will just be looking at the y-axis. And since the coordinates are 0 and negative 2, we will be looking for the negative 2. So we have here this one. And now, we may draw a line. This will be the line of our linear equation. Second example, y is equal to negative 3x plus 9. We will be using the same steps. Let's find x and y intercept. Let's start with the x intercept, wherein y will be equal to 0. So let's use the equation y is equal to negative 3x plus 9. And then, substitute 0 to y. It will be 0 equals negative 3x plus 9. Since we do not have any number anymore, at the left side, we'll be transposing one of these two terms. Let us transpose negative 3x since we are solving for x. When we transpose negative 3x, the sign of this term will be the opposite. So, it will be positive 3x on the other side. So we'll have now positive 3x is equal to 9. Now, 
Let's solve for x by dividing it by 3 both sides. Cancel this one. And 9 divided by 3 will give us 3. So x will be equal to 3. Our coordinates will be 3 and 0. 3 for the value of x, 0 for the value of y. Now, let us proceed to the y-intercept, wherein x must be equal to 0. We will be using the same equation, y is equal to negative 3x plus 9. Substitute 0 to the variable x. It will be y is equal to negative 3 times 0 plus 9. Since negative 3 times 0 will give us 0, we may just cancel it out. And now we'll have y is equal to 9. That's it. So our y-intercept will be 0 and positive 9. 0 for the value of x and positive 9 for the value of y. Now, let's graph. For the x-intercept, we will just be looking at the x-axis. Since we have the coordinates 3, 0, it means we will just be looking for the positive 3 on the x-axis. So we have it here. And for the y-intercept, we will be looking at the y-axis. And since we have the coordinates 0 and 9, you will just be looking for the positive 9 on the y-axis. And we have it here. Now, since we already have two points, we may now draw a line. And this will be the line of our linear equation. Third example, x is equal to negative 4. You will be applying the same steps. Let's look for the intercepts. For x-intercept, y must be equal to 0. But since in our equation there is no variable y, then you do not have to solve for the value of x. It will just be x is equal to negative 4. So our coordinates will be negative 4, 0. Negative 4 for the value of x, 0 for the value of y. And for the y-intercept, since we do not have any variable y, then we will not have y-intercept as well. Now let's graph. We only have x-intercept. We have no y-intercept. Let's locate the x-intercept on the x-axis. So it's negative 4, 0. Let's locate negative 4, this one. And in drawing a line, Using this one point, since we do not have y-intercept, it means the line that you are going to draw must not intersect with the y-axis. So we will just be drawing a vertical line. Again, if the x-intercept is the only given, your line will be a vertical line. Another example, y is equal to positive 2. Since it has no variable x, it means we have no x-intercept. And now, let's proceed in solving the y-intercept. And since we do not have the variable x, we do not have to solve anymore. Our value of y will just be positive 2. So the coordinates will be 0 and 2. 0 for the value of x and 2 for the value of y. Now let's graph. We'll be looking at the y-axis. Since the coordinates are 0, 2, we'll locate the positive 2. Positive 2 is in this location. Now, if for the x-intercept, we have to draw the vertical line so that it will not intersect to the y-axis, here, if we have y-intercept, it must not intersect to the x-axis. So we will be using a horizontal line. So this will be the line of our linear equation. 